I came into the town of Glenrose, Texas, because I had a gig at Blackie's on the Square. Glenrose is a pretty small town. It's a few thousands of people. And it's located about 60 miles southwest of Fort Worth. It's a popular place for hiking, and the town was started around a grist mill that was created around the river. Now, Glenrose is known as the dinosaur capital of Texas. And the footage you're seeing here comes from Dinosaur World, which is a place I had to check out. They've got about 150 life-size replicas of dinosaurs, so you can walk around and spot the dinosaurs and imagine that they could represent what dinosaurs actually look like, what it might actually feel like to stumble upon one, and appreciate how large they are and how crazy it is that they existed. So the kid in me that loves dinosaurs was very excited to check out Dinosaur World. Now this is one of three dinosaur worlds that they have in the U.S. They got one in Florida and one in Kentucky as well. But you might be asking why they decide to put one in the small town called Glenrose. And it's because they discovered a bunch of dinosaur footprints not far from here in the 1960s. They were doing excavations for a state building and they found a footprint in the uh, rock there. And they estimate that there's about 2,000 dinosaur tracks there. They've taken out about 500 and so f about 1,500 remain. And they preserved that area as Dinosaur Valley State Park. It's right along the Paluxy River. And so you can go there. You can look out for some of those uh, footprints in the water right by the river. So in August, there was uh, some news about how they were revealing new tracks because the river had dried out and so you could see those footprints in there but now it looks like the water's going pretty strong so they're a bit more difficult to see now from there i made it to the historic downtown square of glenrose it's a pretty nice looking square they have that center there which was all lit up and of course surrounded by some interesting buildings some interesting uh, looking storefronts so i enjoyed walking around and checking that out they, uh, one of the places you can hang out is the Bull Lion Ranch Winery. Another popular spot is the Sexton Mill, and I'll be playing there next week. They've got the Somerville County Museum and Texas Treasures and Jitters Coffee Bar. And when I came in there, Jen was very kind and helpful for helping me figure out the area. She says the place is now called Love and Amen Coffee Bar. So I hung out there and drank some coffee and killed some time, and they referred me to La Vita Italian to get some food. So I went over there for some food, and I had to get the stromboli because you don't see that very often. I guess it's basically like a pizza that's folded onto itself. So you got all those great pizza ingredients inside, folded around some really good bread. Ultimately, I made it to my gig at Blackie's on the Square. Had a decent turnout of folks coming out, braving the rain. It was a rainy day today. But I enjoyed playing music at that cool room right there at that historic downtown square. Now I'm posting all about my music and explorations around Texas and the Texas music scene, so be sure to check out the tons of videos that I got on my channel. Hit that subscribe and the bell button to stay tuned on my posts. Let me know what else I should check out, and thanks for your support. Oh